Hi boys and girls! Today I have my Play-Doh and I got one of my laminated mats like I gave you early in the year in the red folder. And these mats are nice because Play-Doh doesn't stick to it, but you can use Play-Doh on anything that the grown-ups at your house say that you can use on it. It doesn't have to be on this mat. But we have some Play-Doh and we're going to exercise our fingers while practicing our numbers and our letters. So there's a couple ways that we can do it. We're gonna roll some worms, right? We roll and we push at the same time to flatten it out. And maybe someone at your house could tell you a number or you could write some numbers down and then pick a card. I have some number cards here. And let's start with that one. I'm gonna make the number two. So maybe I'm not sure how to make it, but the best way to start is with a worm. Oh look, my worm broke a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it down more and rub to make it long, right? Long and skinny. And I could lay it on top of the number two if I wanted to. That's a two. Or maybe I'm ready to try to make it on my own. So I've gotta make like a candy cane. And then I go backwards. Right? We just try the best we can. There we go. Number two. And maybe I could even pinch off some Play-Doh and roll it in my hands like a ball and make one, two, two pieces of Play-Doh. That's number two. All right. I'm ready to go again. So may I pick another card? Mmm. That's how old most of you are. Number four, that has a lot of straight lines. So I think I can build that on my own. So I still have my worm. I'm gonna break them, right? Make the straight line. And then I've gotta make this part. I'm gonna put another line there. I'm gonna roll some more Play-Doh. Oh, there it is, number four. And actually look, look how many pieces of Play-Doh are just sitting here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move them right over. And then you can have a grown-up check it, and there you go. I want you to practice some numbers today. You could also do letters with Play-Doh. You can do so much with Play-Doh. It's so great. I grabbed some of our letter tiles, which I also sent home in the beginning of the year. You can do letters that we know, or you could even do new letters. It doesn't matter. Pull a letter out of the bag. Let's roll. I'll do one of these. Mm, really pushing hard, getting it flat. Let's see. Oh, let, let's try a letter, friend. Let's do letter B. Make a straight line down. I'm going to roll some more Play-Doh to get that next part to go around. See that little dot there? That dot means it's the bottom. So I'm going to hold it with that dot on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it to stick. There we go. The letter B. So you can use your Play-Doh to make letters or to use numbers. And I would like you to do that today on your seesaw and then take a video or take a picture for me and send it to me on seesaw. I can't wait to see, have fun.